of uh, Emulate 3D and we're here at SolidWorks World 2017 to show people our simulation, emulation and demonstration software which is also featuring the HTC Vive and virtual reality equipment. We've also got a SolidWorks add-in, which is a really cost-effective piece of kit, which just allows you to view your SolidWorks CAD in the virtual world. RoomScale is great for our users. It allows them to look around parts of their equipment without having to teleport, so they can physically move around within that area, and it just makes the whole experience so much more natural. The lineup of Quadro Pascal GPUs. So these are the two that we're using to drive VR experiences all around the exhibition floor. We have our GP100, tremendous amount of double precision capabilities on that GPU. It's our Quadro P4000, used to demo a number of different SolidWorks interactive VR applications. One of the important features of the Vive is one-to-one -one scale. It's exactly like putting yourself in the scene. Since we have sensors that track you, you can do a proper walk around and it's, it's a one-to-one -one within that room. The data is very, very dense and that's where NVIDIA comes in. We were able to render some of our largest customer models without any scale down. For massive models, you will see no stutter or none of that and the VR experience is beautiful. The Vive platform offers one of the best VR experiences out there. We're showing off our new lineup, and that comes with all Pascal GPUs. So we have our WT73, our WS63, and our new entry level, the WE62 and 72. Our new lineup has the P5000 on our WT73 model, which is perfectly capable of running any VR, content creation 3D modeling, you name it. We are able to easily grab the content developed by engineers in the industry, directly and in real time inside the HMD. The 6DOF tracking provided with the HTC is a necessity if you want to bring the human being inside the VR environment. First thing that I find about the HTC Vive is that it's got an amazing resolution. You get two base stations, and even if one person, if the controller is obscured by one person, the other base station takes over and identifies the position of the controllers and the headset. So it's got an amazing tracking system. It's very fluid, and you don't get the motion sickness. Virtual environment here, looking at some manufacturing simulations. So he's inside, uh, in this case, the Bentley, looking at how to insert the, the seat into the car. We have people interacting with the model in real time and discussing that with other people inside the environment about how we can make it an easier experience for Bentley. Running on the Vive, as you can see, resolution is very good. It's very manageable in terms of lightweight and easy to use. Scale is perfect. It brings a whole new kind of freedom to the guy inside the virtual environment that wasn't there before. So we're showing off say, the HTC Vive in the Lenovo ThinkStation P-Series, showing Vitalis' VR for CAD, showing you how you can really bring VR into an immersive CAD experience. VR has been very high-end, very expensive. The likes of the HTC Vive now and the Lenovo ThinkStation and Video Graphics have brought that down to the mainstream, and everybody can now have VR for a much smaller price point. We're showing Visualize running live using iRay as the internal render engine to create these beautiful photorealistic pano content that you see here. To show the new spherical images that you can create inside Visualize using the iRay VR technology and then dive directly in to place you in this airplane interior using the HTC Vive headset. It gives us beautiful head tracking. I can look around uh, 360 degrees around me. It's the high resolution inside the headset. Really helps me place myself directly teleporting myself into this awesome airplane interior. Using the iRay technology, it allows our customers, engineers, designers, marketers to showcase their new products, their new engineering solutions in a full photorealistic fashion without having to spend a penny on prototyping. 